Welcome, this is Information Service Engineering, lecture number one, Natural Language Processing. Today, we will talk about information and knowledge. So, how do we get an answer to a question like that? Who was the first man on the moon? What will you do? Of course, today, you will ask one of the major search engines, like your friend Google, for example, and there, you will find directly the answer. That's quite nice. So now we know that Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon. But this is not everything if it comes to getting or understanding information. We have to ask, of course, who was Neil Armstrong? So again, let's ask this to Google. And we simply type Neil Armstrong and what will you get? Of course, lots of results of documents that contain Neil Armstrong and information, of course, about this guy, Neil Armstrong. So this is what the traditional search engine delivers. And this is documents, or these are documents which are in the search engine index. On the other hand, since a few years, Google also delivers structured information for entities which it detects in its query box. So here, for example, for Neil Armstrong, from the Google Knowledge Graph, information is delivered in a structured form. So you see a small, let's say, abstract or description about Neil Armstrong. And you see also data, structure data in the form like when he was born, when he died, and for example, who he was married with and everything else. So who were his children or even some quotes. This is structured information, which is in addition available at the search engine today. And the question, of course, is where does this information come from? You might think, okay, somehow, of course, it's contained in the documents that are inside the search engine. But the main problem is how to get this information, because for this, the documents have to be read and understood by the machine, and the information has to be extracted and then to be delivered in the search engine. And this is one of the topics, of course, of this lecture. Okay, how did you do that? before the times of the web. So who was Neil Armstrong? What would you think? Yep, probably you looked it up in a lexicon or you looked it up in a newspaper. And in the newspaper, of course, there was lots of information. And to answer the question, who was Neil Armstrong? Of course, you had to read all the text that was given there. You had to look at the pictures. Probably you also saw something on TV. Then you had to look at the video. And this all is so-called unstructured information. And to get the knowledge out of that information, you do something what is called information extraction or knowledge extraction. And then in the end, the information that is extracted out of these unstructured documents can of course be represented in a structured semantical way, like in a knowledge graph. And a knowledge graph looks like that. So you have a graph-like structure with Neil Armstrong in the center. And then for Neil Armstrong, you have lots of information. For example, you see that Neil Armstrong is an astronaut and also you see that an astronaut is of course a person. Or Neil Armstrong also was a test pilot, which also was a person. You see his birth date, you see his death date, and you see that he was a crew member of the Apollo 11 space mission. And also you see the other crew members, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. So this is all information contained in a knowledge graph, which previously has to be somehow extracted from unstructured information sources like text or pictures or videos. So the process, how to get from natural language text, for example, to formal knowledge representation is called information extraction. And to cope with especially natural language text, we do so-called natural language processing. And this, of course, is the subject of the very first lecture of this course. And from that point on, we will continue in the next part of the lecture with the notions of language and how to understand language. 